Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode series. We are currently in Alaska. We are back in Northport. I've travelled through in between episodes just to save a little load screen on the edit. And um, yeah, we're going to go do our thing. We've got the Derry Longhorn. We're bringing that back to start doing some of the larger deliveries when they kick in. And I'll bring back my load style with me because I need that for my fuel and my parts and just helping out around on the map really. Plus we've still got two or three challenges that we need to complete. We should be able to do them. I just need to not be a <laughs> be an idiot and, and rush it. I know it's time, but we don't need to rush it. We just need to complete them. But when we were last in here, we cleared the roadblock that is this way. We did that with the Royal, so that's done. So we've got an easy route back through. And we uh, repaired and built the bridge down to the port, so let's make that a nice easy route through. So with what's left that we want to do, what we want to do, we've got loads left, but what we want to do is the, uh, the sort of little, the little map jobs, really. Some big deliveries would be nice as well, but the little map jobs, that's the main thing. I don't think where we left the um, the Royal, I think it's down, 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 down. I think it's down by the port. There it is. The turn and circle on this is pretty atrocious. Which doesn't really help when um, we've got some bigger loads to put in. Now, hopefully, I'm trying to remember now. Um, I, th I think I upgraded the engine on the dairy last time. I, I think it's got its most powerful engine in it. I'm going to go with yes. I just don't want to waste time putting it in and out of the garage and what have you. I mean, we don't need the dairy right now. But it is going to be in, in use pretty soon. We just need to check and sort out what I want to do first in what order. With the whole day a day thing that we try and stick to, it leaves very little time for someone like myself who's not got everything planned out. You don't really have the time to just sort of sit and study and think, not unless you run a separate save, which I don't, although I have other saves, they're not parallel. They are completely different to this. So there's no real plan and foresight into it. So I'm like, oh, come in here. I can't even remember what jobs we've got triggered. I know we've got two fuel trailers we need to, to deliver, but we're sort of using them. I might use that. There we go, we'll take that. Not use that with the... Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course it's not going to spin back the way I want it. Yeah, I want to connect that on the back of the... Uh, the load star so naturally naturally our collision box has overlapped and we pushed it facing the opposite friggin direction from what I want to be able to pull it sometimes the levels of frustration upon my person are beyond belief right you can be refueled and you can be parked here for now. Right, Lodestar. No. Oh, we can't even, hmm, it's buried in the snow. 
See what I mean? Sometimes, if there's something that can go wrong for me, and, and just make it a little bit harder, you best believe this game is going to do it for me. So what we're going to do is we have rocks full that requires two wooden planks and we have stone full which requires one metal beam. That route is I wouldn't want to take the BM with the big trailer on and I don't think we need to take the BM with the big trailer there. The Royal is all the way down there so we're just going to use the lodestar and we will um, pay for these resources they are, the jobs are going to pay out more a lot more than it's going to cost to get the resources there we go, all wheel drive that's what we want I don't really like this trailer, but it's the only other one that we've got sort of floating around. It's got regular road tyres on, it's not off-road or anything like that. It's just a bit of a chore. So there needs to be 200 litres left in there. I have to remember that. take this route to the logging station as well I prefer this route that th there's just that thick mud and it's just more of an annoyance than it, ne than it needs to be like it's not that hard that you're ever going to get stuck in it it just slows you down so much it's such an annoyance It's not like Devil's Mud, where you're like, oh yeah, I could seriously lose a truck in this. I'm not careful. But the mud that we're avoiding here is the sort of mud you just end up spinning tyres for an excessive amount of time just to burn fuel. I think once we've done uh, these two, we will probably then jump to the Royal and look to get the pipe out of the river. That'll then be the next one. That's the mud. That there. It's, it's just annoying. It's, it really is.
go, that's our two. <laughs> the ease of it. <laughs> Can I weave through here? Please and thank you. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We don't need to worry about looking for any upgrades or anything like that. We've already got them. We've done we've done all the scouting. Excuse me. Naturally, time to lose your voice. Uh, we've done all the scouting. Uh, so we've hit all the watchtowers. We've found all the upgrades. We've collected up all the vehicles on the map. We've done all the tow and vehicle deliveries. We have the... You see the, the Derry Longhorn that you've seen. We have the Royal BM that we've picked up. There is the... Caterpillar uh, crawler vehicle that we've picked up. That's mainly going to be like a fuel carrier or maybe a little a little bit of logging work, but that's going to be fuel and recovery, I think. I've never used it for the cargo containers, but since I've got it up at uh, the top of um, White Valley, I may, may give it a go because it's up there. I don't think I've ever really... Well, that's a lie I have had up there before because I always used to, to move the uh, the dairy. But, again, normally on um, normal mode, so quite often I would then just stick it in the garage and then jump up to the port or just put it into, stop, into storage and not have it out again. But since we're going to need things this time... We uh, we might we might give it a try on doing some because I know I'm sure there's two or three cargo jobs up there. So if that if the cargo trailers will fit on that, that might be worth doing. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't get my words out. It's getting a bit late today. That last episode was recorded this afternoon, and now <laughs> I'm doing this one tonight. But like I said I'm trying to get a few of these in, I'm trying to get ahead. Trying to sort of get through it so we can not just get ahead, but so we can release them closer together. So you guys feel the progression. There we go. So we've opened that, that's 1300, and it costs us 300 for the wood. So that's a grand on that job. And that just opens up a pass through there, which we're probably not going to take. Once we've unlocked these and unlocked this, unlocked this one, we'll come up here to try that job. And then odds are we're not really going to travel through any of these narrow points again because it's going to be long cargo loads pretty much always going up and round or using the outskirts. And yeah, very rarely will we, we travel those routes or this one. Rarely, if at all. But we're, we're, we're unblocking them for the community. We're doing it for everyone else. After the earthquake. So next up was uh, a metal beam, wasn't it? Yeah, one metal beam and we'll get it from that factory. Did we drive through and trigger things there? I think we did. Trailer park. Yeah, we've triggered trailer park, haven't we? Yeah. So since that'll take us up to the top of the hill, we might even do trailer park next. Since we'll sort of be en route. I just need to find somewhere else to put this trailer itself.
Just make yourself a little bit, a little bit more space. And we want metal beams. Thank you very much. Some of you may hate that I'm auto loading with hard mode, but we have to pay for it. It's not like it's the uh, the easiest cop out. There is a, a monetary. Um, I don't know. I want to say I was that was going to make a word up then, but yeah, there there is a monetary loss to it. It costs. There's a monetary value. It costs. I'm not sure if I'm going to want this short trailer afterwards. It, it might be easy just to delete it <laughs> from existence once I've done this. So, 1300 for that one as well. So, that's um, 1150 plus our 200 XP. How are we? We're pushing on for uh, level 24. Nice. Right, so. I'm just going to delete it. I am. I'm going to detach it because I'm, if I leave it there, I'm never coming to get it. So I'm going to delete it. If we need another one, we'll get one. I don't think we will. Not here, anyway. Let's make sure we've got trailer park activated. So we've just got to go up here, get to the trailer park. Sorry about the camera. I have no control. Look. And here it is, simple as. And that's 950, so just coming up here has covered the cost of all of our materials. That simple little jobby. Right, so we'll attach the trailer. And then we have a job that's going to want us to deliver this cargo down there. Now the route we're going to trip a route that I've often took is just quite literally down here. But there is high risk of roll. You can, and this is a little bit flat, just go straight that way. So we're probably going to go straight flat way. Why is it smart there? You can then just sort of weave through the trees once you're down here. It just that sounds like that, just so I know where I want to go. Yeah, that is tempting, but there is high roll risk for that. So, we'll accept it. You've got seven minutes. You can go the long way around, but I just don't want to spend seven minutes on it. Plus, if we get there nice and quick, another three and a half grand. So, let's put it in gear, shall we? That helps as you do. Yeah, be all right, be all right. And I've often, I've done this many times in the standard load star, not even with this one. So it's not like you can only do it if you've got this modded version. It may not even make it easier because 
extra power and, and whatnot sometimes means you're a little bit too quick. Hence why there's also the, the added roll risk and we get a bit bouncy. Like this. Just because we've got a tree underneath us. We want our trailer to go either. Thank you. That's where the, the real risk is your trailer. Now if I go in cab, I might be able to see my way through a little bit easier. Should be able to push through these ones. And go onto the road. Don't come out too cocky because that is where the little crappy scout trailer will flip and have you. But yeah, this is another job. Easy money. You don't get the trailer, the trailer doesn't respawn. I think if you restart the job, you have to take the trailer back up with you. But easy money if you want it. Do that five times. Get yourself 10, 15 grand. Cannot complain. Two minutes, and that was taken at super slow. It'll take longer to get back up there than anything else. So. That's done. I'm just going to park this trailer here. I mean, once you've done that, you've only got the metal beams on there, but you could have put the the wood on that and done done the wood route. So it's attached trailer. So let's have a little look at what jobs I've got left. What have we got going on? What have we got going on? So it's oil tanker delivery, which we're not doing. So lost tube is what I said, isn't it? So. There we are. We want to actually we'll do it from here. Jump back on over. How are we for fuel? We are fueled up. So we're saying we could pick one up there if we wanted. What? No, you pick the you get this one. Uh, big fancy new pipelines being built in the area. One of those contra subcontracts is operating. Logistics has lost a section of the pipe. We need a driver that can help with the recovery. Yeah. Get up. Don't. Yeah. So I guess that's an option if you really can't get it. I guess. But we can. Which I think is very easy. I've got to plan my route now, actually. I mean, you should be able to turn around there. That'll be right. Because sometimes I've come at that from the other way and I just drive down. But yeah, we're going to come at it from the south, whereas often I've come at it from the north. And we're going to have to take on the nasty mud that I dislike. We have to do it with this trailer, which is going to be a pain in the bum.
Come on, Big Bessie. And again, another reason why I probably should just put a, a longer or a stronger winch on here. Just helps to ease things up through here. But we've, we've, we've spent 20 grand, was it? 22 grand on the, or 18 grand, something like that, on the winch for the, for the Longhorn. When we are finished here, we will have to remember to take that off there, just in case you want on something else, somewhere else. Oh, come on, man. You can do this. Go in us, come on. Again, we've got a more powerful engine, I think, but it's just the fuel consumption then becomes more of an issue. Weighing up the pros and cons, do I worry about how far I'm going to get on my fuel or just deal with the frustration that I'm going to be slow sometimes? <laughs> sometimes being all the time. Again, I did tell you I was going to try this, and it's not a case of try it. I know that it fits. I know that it all goes because I do it a lot. There's so much about this game that bewilders me, and why it works one time and not another. There we go. That should just sort of pop the trailer over for us. Come on. Come on, I've done this so many bloody times. It's it's ridiculous. This fits through here. So we try and hump at the other side this time. Perhaps it just doesn't want to go the way I normally do it.
Come on. He nearly went then. I will run out of fuel to prove the point. I am I am that sort of person. I will run out of fuel to prove the point. Why are you not coming with me? I just don't get it. You're up, you're lifted, you're barely even in there. Just being a nuisance. That's all it is. You're just being a nuisance. Like, lift. You don't even have to lift. You just... Why, why did my engine... Why the hell did my engine stop? Swear to God, if I believed in one. Perhaps that's why. I mean, I wouldn't even go backwards now. That's how, that's how much the game has now screwed me. Unnecessarily. Because the friggin' trailer fits. Just smash it through, because it pissed me off. I know that it fits through there. Do you know how I know? I did it two days ago on my console. Two days ago I went through there with that trailer. I know that it goes through there. So... Oh, I do what I can to not swear, but it is so annoying. Go through with cargo, you go through empty, and it fits. And I've done it many times before. Like I said, it's because I'm recording, it's because I'm doing it on hard mode. There's no other reason, there's no other reason why all these things that I always do don't work. <laughs> I've got to wait for the camera to come back. Yeah, I've pulled that through there with the BM, I pulled it through there with the Western Star, I pulled it through there with the Brigadier. And I think the Brigadier is even wider than the BM. I quite like the Brigadier actually. That's one of my main trucks here in Alaska on my console save.
but that's wasted most of the day now. I just... It just irritates me so much. But after have a month now we know snow runner just because that's pissed me off so much. Like, it just wastes time. It wastes fuel. And I know the feckin' thing fits. Because I did it two days ago without issue. Just went through at speed. Boom, boom. Little bounce. Give it a little, a little tweak with your winch and bang, it pops over. This time it was sitting on top of the rocks and it just registered it as wedged. It was sitting on top of them. I always go that way because the other route, which I said before, is usually much slower because you're just towing your ass on every single tree, constantly trying to pull yourself through. Especially with like these trucks, because there's no no diff lock. You know. You just slide in the mud. Especially pulling this trailer. So we'll be lucky now if we get another job done after this because we've got quite a manoeuvre to uh, get this pipe out and either try and go forward and turn around or reverse it back from where we come from. Which, given how that just went, I'm not certain what to try and do. Not now that my blood pressure's up. Do one, mate. You can do one. You can do one. So up on our, up on our loading platform. <laughs> At least they're kind enough to give you this. Right. Definitely want the anchor. Boom. Right. Back. Store. Yeah, so you can reverse down and try and get around the corner, or you can do what we're going to do and try and turn it around up here. The only issue is sometimes... The, the BM doesn't like all the snow, but it'll be all right.
and sell some fuel because we will need that. Lovely jubbly. Job done. Nearly two grand on that one. A lot of frustrations just sent the engine off. We'll have a little look and think about what I want to do next. So we've got to ignoring them for a minute. Ignoring them. So now we are on actual actual jobs in here. So we have got two fuel barrels down to uh, the port. We have got the big drill. Um, oil delivery. Which is taking a lot of stuff about. Then we have drilling parts. Four drilling parts going to there. And they are coming from the service site. So we'll when we drop off oil, we'll drop to the service spot last, and then we'll grab the four drilling parts. And we've got pipeline repair, which is off in Pedro Bay. Then we have drilling supplies. That's here. So a cargo container and medium pipes. Go in there so we can get medium pipes from here and we can get our I guess a cargo container from here. What was the job again? Uh, ca uh cargo container, so we can get cargo container. It's come from down at the port. And then medium pipes so to the port there was fuel coming from where we are to the port so it makes sense for that to be what we do yeah because then we can go get the next part for the next job and then this is um that's white valley Mountain River, Valley, Mountain River, Mountain River, uh, parts of the Polar Base, all sorts to go there. And then it's um, starting on the, the logs. So let's get in position to get some fuel. Can we not get fuel from here? Oh, fuel's there. Okay, I thought it was from here. Even better. Right, let's get out of here then. Where do you think we were getting fuel from? I thought you could get fuel from here. Perhaps we've got to do a few more jobs before we can start getting fuel out of here. Perhaps, I th oh, that might be once the, uh, the drilling thing and stuff has been done. Yeah, that might be what that is. Right. Right, off to the uh, fuel station. We'll uh, take that little dribble out from where we've just sat there. So on the way back, we will go the the mud route, just because, you know, 
well, mainly because I left the load star parked in the way, in the way, but if I was going to jam again, I just, it doesn't need to, it fits, it doesn't need to jam like that. It's pretty much the same gap as what you have here. And you don't get stuck here. Even I guess even with getting stuck, I mean we've we've done the jobs we done. We've cleared the two routes, so it's two jobs. We did the uh, I know it's not a big one, but we got to the trailer park, and then we did the did the uh, the time challenge with the scout trailer to the port. Standard, uh, so. Yeah, we've already, we've done. Is that one, two, three, four? Plus, then there's five. So it's five, five deliveries we've done. Again, that's that's pretty good for me. That's quite productive for me. Don't know what the time is. I assume we might, have to, we might even have time to get this fuel down to the port. I don't know, because we, we've got to go through the crap mud again, I think, but we can try. I feel like my BM is going so slow as well. And I was going to try and get another one, another one recorded today, but I think after after this, I might leave it a day or two. You have to let the the frustration sort of simmer down a bit. Also, here you don't want to get too high because the the royal likes to roll. Again, that's why we've not raised it. it. Just seems to seems like it sits high anyway, and it seems to have quite springy suspension, regardless. We've reached the end without issue, so you know we're just going to sit still and not do nothing. Now we've come to the end of the mud. Going that slow, I managed just to uh, drink my coffee while we're doing it. It's this way, this way, this way, this way, and it is just too fuel. Yeah, so I wonder what it is that gets the uh, the fuel pumping from the drill site, because you can definitely get fuel there. Sure you can. Or am I once again getting mixed up on a different map? I 
I think I'm getting confused with the uh, White Valley drill. Because there's a job in White Valley to deliver four. Yeah, that, yeah. You can get four oil. There's a job to deliver four oil up to the air, the, uh, like the air field in White Valley uh, from the drill site. And I remember one time I, I grabbed four fuel instead of four oil. So then maybe that's the drill that I'm getting. Oh, come on, man. You just ain't getting momentum. I changed gear and then you changed gear. We stopped. It's absurd. How are we for fuel? Where are we? Try not to put our trailer in the loading site. So if we we shouldn't need our anchor for these. Heavy. Like I say, we're not going to auto everything. Just some when I'm feeling a little bit lazy, or if we're trying to do a few cheeky jobbies with a load star and a, a trailer on the back. But. We will always be lazy when it comes to packing. There isn't really a way to get there without having to now go through the mud. Let's just take the longest route round, but that's, that's excessive. Watch us snag and get caught on a cement block or something in the garage now. Not the garage, but the gas station. In the UK, garages are called gas oh, ga gas stations, petrol stations, often get called a garage. Just going to pop to the garage. Now, if someone tells you they're going to pop to the garage, they're not going in the carport that's next to the house. They're not necessarily going somewhere where you prepare your vehicle. They're going to go to the petrol station. They're going to go to pop to the garage. Just more of our weird and wonderful differences. Now, some of these jobs like this one would be easier if we just had um, a two bed on there, but do want to have to keep constantly going back to the garage, <laughs> the actual garage <laughs> at this time, and um, changing out. So we take the five bed. The five bed will load pretty much all the cargoes we want, all the cargo types, pretty much. So I want you to get a fair old bit on there. There we go, come on Speedy McCready.
There we go. Loads of jobs done. So the next thing was, what was it? Pick it up from here. That's the job that it's put us on. At a cargo container. And then medium pipes from there. And then that all then goes back to the drill site. Perhaps that would then let you take out fuel. <laughs> so where where's the loading platform oh he's just there in front of us right here try and turn around When you get lots of jobs done, it's hard to sort of title what they are, so I'll, tr I'll try and remember to put, put the jobs in the tags, but then there's not always enough space, so we'll perhaps try and put them all in the description or something. I'll anchor out. As the sun is coming up, it must be getting time. It's probably about half past six. It's getting bright. Six o'clock, right, let's see if we can at least get a little bit up the road. And I'm sure some people enjoy the challenge of trying to huff these trucks and these larger trailers through the woods, but that's that's not my style. Not not through there for the shortcut that that would possibly be. I'm not sure how complex that route is. If we went up here, right, we're not going to get along the route that we went, and that looks like a bit of a a ball lake. Looks like there's rocks in the way as well. Just shuffling in my seat. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go back to the mud way, but we'll, we'll stop before we hit the mud. We'll save the mud for the start of the next one. Because that's just, just what I want when I come in for a new recording, is um, fight with some mud straight out the door. So there we are, turn the engine off. And um, yeah, that'll be it for another episode. We got a fair bit done. Just if, if we didn't have the frustration, excuse me while I put my controller down. If we didn't have the frustration of getting stuck, there's every chance we could have gotten this delivery done as well. That's, that's the bit that annoys me. Well, not annoys, it annoys me most. That I know that it fits through because I've done it about eight times. Um, but yeah, that, it, that then in turn slows the progression down of what we're doing for something like that we should have been able to get through. But anyway, we have done it. We're all good. We're not going to have to do it again because every time we come through now, we'll have a load. So we'll go the muck way. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find it when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.